And that was challenging to do a production basically on atheism, is where do I find material? So I started to read between the lines. And so Hamsa Sandesham is an interesting work because it is a non-religious, you know, religious, theori theoretical text. It's a religious text which is done as a story, a kavya. And this is called a Sandesha Kavya, which has many examples in Sanskrit and Tamil literature, where a messenger is sent for whatever reason. In this case, it's love. Rama is about to invade Sri Lanka, and he has a moment <coughs> of hesitation where he suddenly is reminded of Sita in the appearance of a, a Raja Hamsa. Now, when I perform this piece, you'll be seeing something which is what I call cognitive dissonance, where Rama's feelings are projected onto a swan and it becomes more than what it actually is. And so you'll see like the swan doing one thing, but Rama assuming it's doing another. And Vedanta Deshika is interesting because he doesn't really say whether or not the swan is really a divine creature that is aware of Rama's divinity. Nor does he say that the swan is completely unfeeling. It's a sentient creature. So right away you get this very interesting difference of schools of thought in Hinduism, where a lot of the theistic schools will say, yes, this is Bhagavan Rama, swan will know, and it'll, it'll you know, say, oh, Rama, yes, I will take your message across. That's, a, that's an assumption of a lot of the later schools of Hinduism. Instead, the Nastika, or the, the Nastika schools, will probably argue that no, it's just a swan. And if Rama, as a god, is subject to the arrows of Cupid and becoming feverish with love, then is there really a god? If Rama is so infallible, but he's supposed to be god himself on earth, why is he subject to the rules of karma? This is a dilemma that Vedanta Deshika explores in Hamsa Sandesha, but never resolves. And that is sort of the main criticism that many of the atheistic schools, whether they follow the Vedas or not, had with theism. And so you'll see a little bit of that in Hamsa Sandesha. <laughs> Yeah. 